am sitting in stop and go traffic in the Nissan Leaf 2018 using the e-pedal it's real easy just feather the gas the uh, accelerator I guess is what you call it now pedal and uh, just creep along Pretty easy. Uh, I don't have the heat on, but it's 23 degrees Fahrenheit outside. Kind of chilly. It's, it's a little cold in here. Wearing some gloves. But, uh, yeah. Pretty neat. Be nice to know when the brake lights are coming on though because I don't really have a good sense for that using the e-pedal uh, and I just kind of like to know when the brake lights are coming on and going off because some, sometimes that can trick the people behind you that aren't paying attention and then they'll rear end you uh, especially when they're on the phones the, I'm using the onboard navigation system to go to work. I don't really like it. I mean, Left it, turn ahead onto Alawith Brook Parkway. See, it doesn't pronounce the uh, the road correctly. Alawith. It's Ale Life. But uh, yeah, it does show you the live traffic, which we're definitely in right now. And people are cutting me off. Does that mean oh turns coming yeah this car uh, is actually a bit wider than my Toyota Corolla have a little bit of hard time fitting in the garage Jeez, people keep in your lane um, so I might have to rearrange some shelving and stuff it's hard getting in and out the, uh, the other thing is that I'm not used to is I usually shut car doors pretty lightly you know I don't slam them and uh, it's kind of throwing me off on this car because you do have to kind of you know give it some oomph when you when you close the door uh, I keep finding myself not closing it all the way and having to reclose it again but I don't know if that's a Nissan Continue thing. This is, uh, you know, my first Nissan, so maybe they make the doors more durable or something. But that's fine. Just getting used to it. Um, I did sign up with that EV Connect app. I have that on my phone, and on my watch. It seems pretty neat. Um, I'm not getting the uh, the statistics like you can participate in um, like your ranking for eco-ness and uh, those aren't showing up for some reason I do have data transmission turned on in the car settings so I'm not sure if that's just something that gets updated once a week or whatnot but um, yeah it's, it's not doing anything right now um, I, I topped it off the first night that I got it up to 100%, drove to work yesterday, which is about 8 miles, drove home, driving to work again, I'm at 81%, so uh, I was at 81 and then there's a big hill that you come down and I got up to 82 and now I'm back at 81. I think I could probably go a week or two before having to charge it again, which is uh, pretty neat. I mean, even in my Corolla, I'd probably fill up the tank. It's a 15 and a half gallon tank uh, once every six or seven weeks. So, um, yeah, I'm driving with eco mode on. Uh, the accelerator is definitely 
you know, um, you got to push it down to make it go, uh, which, which I'm not used to yet. Uh, okay, great. People are uh, blocking the intersection at the light, so we're going to be sitting here for a bit. Um, yeah, the, the range definitely goes down quite a bit when, um, when you turn the heat on, so uh, seeing about, I just want to get a sense for uh, how far I can go regularly without using those features first. So probably, you know, I'm not going to torture myself here in the cold, but if it gets too cold, I'll turn it on. Drove home in the snow and didn't have any issues. Um, I got to my driveway, which has a pretty steep pitch, and I got stuck halfway up. I had E pedal on and I was just kind of playing around with it, so. It's like, Take okay. The second exit onto Concord Avenue. Let's see what happens. Then there so, is a traffic circle. Take the second exit. I just pushed the pedal down and I could hear some of the, the wheel spin a little bit, but I just kept pushing it down uh, and it figured out how to get up the hill. So that was pretty neat. Red light. I, uh, I basically just took my foot off the accelerator and it just came to a stop. And uh, pretty useless red light because nobody else is coming. Now it's green. Go. I wish I wish the uh, traffic lights were more intelligent so that they didn't make you stop for no reason. You know, there was no cars coming. But everyone's got to slow down and stop because the light says so. Maybe that's why so many people just fly through the red lights, but uh, you always got to pay attention. See if anyone's coming before you go through the intersection. Again, just took my foot off the uh, accelerator. Came to a complete stop. I'm on a hill. It's holding me. It's uh, green yet. Green, go. Yeah, eco mode, definitely you have to push down a lot further to uh, make it do something. Yeah, so the acceleration pedal works very differently um, based on eco mode, e pedal, b mode, all those things. Depending on what settings you have, the pedal works differently. So, Got to pay attention what mode you're in.